I was uh, raised on this lake. Uh, came to it as a little boy when I was probably about 12 years old. That was back in the day when teenagers used canoes to move around the lake rather than motorboats or stand-up paddle boards. I discovered the lake because my older brothers uh, needed an additional person in the canoe to paddle <laughs> and included me in their adventures around the lake. I have lived on Anabasacook for 50 years. My children were brought up here, so I have a, a heartfelt warmth for this lake. I've been going out there for 35 years now, and you know, you develop a relationship. It's, uh, it's the one lake I go to almost every week. I mean, growing up as a kid, there was no other place around. The islands, um, 8.9 miles, all the different shorelines, all the different features, and then having the ability to go out and to boat to them and have family fun days out on the lake, that was really what brought me to it. It just was amazing to me that there's still places like this in Maine. Not only the water so clear, you know, the fish are abundant. We watch the eagles and the osprey all day long. There's a sense of community and how well people come together to take care of things. When I think of the lake, I think of the, of the thousands uh, of people that are around the lake, that utilize the lake, socialize with their friends, neighbors on the lake, the fishing tournaments. It's just, uh, it's a beautiful lake and it's a lake that has got to be protected. But the fact of the matter is, if we don't maintain the protection and quality of the water in this lake, we don't have those social activities. Right now we're dealing with an issue on uh, Lake Anabesicook. Anabesicook connects directly into Cobbesee through Jug Stream. I hate to say it, but I think it's a matter of time that if something isn't done, we could have a much bigger mess on our hands. Nupo was found in 2014, and we have been right out straight battling it ever since. This year, the milfoil is growing exponentially. Those fragments are going down Jug Stream, over the dam. They will eventually end up in Cobbesee. We are in um, four feet of water here, so with milfoil throughout this, we would have no marina, very simply. Also, it's very important for the families that come here, as well as my family personally, and Zach's family. We enjoy the water, we go out, we each have boats that we take our families out on and go swimming on Cobbesey Lake. So the reason that we feel so strongly about it is because my wife's roots here, Zach's family's roots here, and now, since my wife made me move, or allowed me to move here with her, Maybe. my roots here. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the lake's very important to us, not only just for our business and uh, for our guests and the clientele, but also for our families in general as a whole. The areas are really going to change dramatically. Uh, you know, you're talking fish life uh, and just being able to, to swim in certain areas, to be able to boat in certain areas. If this filled in with milfoil, we wouldn't be able to use it. Or if we did, we'd be sending all kinds of fragments downstream to compensate. It's not an Anabasicook problem, it's a watershed problem. It's all one big system. The property values will go down if this uh, becomes an infested lake, as well as just the overall quality of the water and people swimming and doing things off the shore. So, I mean, this isn't just a thing that affects our business, it affects everybody that has property on the water as well as people that enjoy everyday activities like tubing and fishing and um, everything that we are able to do recreationally on Cobbsey Lake. I grew up in Massachusetts, but my family, I have family who live in Monmouth, so I grew up coming to Cobbsey. And you know, being able to like bring my kids to Cobbesey is is pretty special. I can't imagine, you know, for future generations not having the opportunity to do the things that I did. If the milfoil situation gets out of control, the opportunities that we've had are not going to be there. What can we do? Uh, working with them, volunteering a little bit of time, doing boat inspections, helping with that. Uh, you know, a ten dollar bill every now and then. When you see the friends set up at a function sometime at one of the parades or the Apple Festival or any of those things. You know, just educate yourself. Talk to the folks that are involved and understand what's going on. Education is primary. Get to know what milfoil looks like. Check your boats and know what you're looking for. If you can't get out there to do it physically, donate to Friends of the Coppicey Watershed so that we can have New England milfoil come and help us. 
Uh, these things down the road are going to make a difference on whether you know, we have beautiful pristine lakes or whether we have weed beds. That's really it.